Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tanktronics channel. My name is Paul Wilson, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a review of Microsoft Money Plus. It's a program that allows you to manage your money. For me, managing money and all the information that goes with it requires a good application. And I'm sure there are better applications than this out there, and I'm going to be researching that further on this channel in the future. Um, but my choice is Microsoft Money Plus. It can be downloaded and installed on a Windows PC, even installed on Windows 10, which I currently do have installed on Windows 10. And it allows me to itemize and categorize my spending to monitor trends and set my goals. And this review I'm going to be discussing some of the features and some of the pitfalls of this wonderful program so without further ado what is Microsoft Money Plus Microsoft Money is a personal finance management software built and owned by Microsoft with this software program you can view your bank account balances track expenses create budgets and many more this program only works with computers that use Microsoft Windows operating system. Also, there are versions of Windows Mobile on selected devices. As you see, I have it all up, set up in a Windows 10 environment and all that good stuff. But before I even get into it to show you some of the key things, I'm gonna talk about some of the features. And what we have is it allows you to balance your checkbook, it allows you cash flow insights to provide you a glance at your spending you can automatically categorize your spending you could get bill insights and show of upcoming and overdue bills you could create and track a budget for yourself you can manually enter transactions into financial accounts you could split the transactions for multiple categories and you can forecast your personal cash flow also, you can import transactions to accounts using OFX and QIF. And my, one of my favorite things is the intuitive ability to be able to view and print a number of reports for assets, liabilities, investments, income, and expenses. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna enter my, I guess I'm gonna enter my password here and get in here. All right, so it's not looking too shabby, but it is what it is. But it, this right here shows my spending by category. And that's, and that's how it's laid out. And then we'll go into, say, the account layout. What, the main things that I like about this is that, like, if I get, say, a receipt, you know, and I got to enter, I like to, you, on a receipt, we all know that you're going to buy different things. They're going to fall into different categories. And what happens is when we have this receipt, we are able to sit there and like enter it by splitting the transactions. It's one of my favorite things about it. So I could go in and itemize this receipt by entering it into this, this, this item for transactions with multiple categories so that I can see that my categories are accurately represented within the program. So, and that's really cool. I like it and it's, it's really neat. Plus, you know, you have the home. So, you know, not only, I, I, I could set reminders, I could set up different things. Um, I could go into the different reports. You know, like a simple spending by category. It tells me what, you know, I can print this, I can export it in Excel. It's, there's a lot of possibilities with the software and like, I can't even show it all to you within the, 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 the confines of the short video. But I do want to talk about some of the things that I, like I've used this software for years. And, um, I think I used it back in the late 90s when I was in college. Yes, I'm an old man. Um, and the thing is, it helped me keep track of things because there's a lot of data that comes with 
money, as you can see. And that's just how it is, and that's why I use it. But the things that I don't like about is that um, I've had the program lock up and crash and ruin money files back in the day. That's just the ugly part of it. That's why I personally never keep nothing more than a year's worth of finances in a file. And then next year, I start a new file. In a nutshell, I mean, there's so much to this. It's like a Swiss Army knife for your personal finances. Oh, before I go, I want to talk about a resource that I found that's listed on the, uh, that'll be listed in the, uh, the uh, information section within this video. And I found a site called Money mvps.org and what they are about is money ms money help and info pages um and you could download the patches the trials and all the different things for microsoft money as you can see here so you know like, I'm not, I don't have a dog in the fight. It's not my site, but I just found this site very useful for this. And I definitely am going to check it out. There's articles about Windows 10, the, the Money 2005 reinstallation, and miscellaneous articles and all facts. Um, you have facts. You have the different products. You can browse products from the U.S., U.K., and Canada. And you have... All downloads, the trial versions, the patches, and the updates. It's pretty cool stuff. So, well, hey, this brings us to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe, comment on the video, and share it with a friend. Thank you for spending time with me and have a great day.